As a division agent, your loadout consists of weapons, gear and skills. Skills are set up differently when we're entering Washington DC as opposed to New York. So if you want an edge against the dangers that lurk in DC, you better get a good understanding of your equipment. Today's Intelligence Annex is covering the usage of modifications of five of the skills available. A chem launcher, drone, hive, seeker mine and turret. Depending on the skill there are four to five different modifications that can drastically change the strategy behind the skill. Some of these modifications are tied to specializations, meaning they're only available to the demolitionist, sharpshooter, survivalist or the fort and the now specialization. Let's start with the chem launcher. A chem launcher is a launcher that fires different ampules of chemicals in an arc that disperse into a cloud on impact and linger to cause unique and devastating effects. You'll be able to choose between four different chemical charges. Fire starter, riot foam, oxidizer and reinforcer. The fire starter canister sends out a flammable, near invisible gas, however through the use of the agent's lenses it's indicated in purple. These gas clouds can be ignited with any spark, bullet impacts, enemies firing their weapons inside the cloud, explosions or even enemies running into them while on fire. Combining multiple clouds over a large area can have devastating chain reactions. Riot foam fires a canister with riot control foam that disperses on impact, which is similar to the True Sun's riot foam. The foam is sticky, heavy and it expands rapidly. Anyone affected by the foam is stuck in place for a period of time, but the hardened foam can be destroyed to break the target free. Oxidizer fires a canister that emits a cloud of corrosive chemicals. It lingers for a long time and it efficiently eats away enemy armor and mechanical items like turrets. And Reinforcer fires a projectile that detonates and disperses an armor repairing cloud. If this powder hits the target, it restores an amount of their armor. Powder that sticks to the ground grants armor restoration over time, or if it sticks to the specific target, it will heal them faster. Moving on to an airborne skill that's available in your loadout, it's the drone. When deployed, the drone hovers around your shoulder and follows you around. Depending on what drone you equip, it can stay passively by your side until assigned an order, or it can automatically target your enemies and even friendlies in some case. You'll be able to choose between five different loadouts for your drone. Striker, Defender, Tactician, Bombardier and Fixer. Striker is the offensive version of the drone, built for combat. Built for combat, the Striker drone possesses a turret that inflicts continuous damage upon its target. It can randomly select a target or receive orders to attack a specific target. Defender, as the name suggests, is a defensive drone that protects its owner by utilizing an experimental directed emitter. It deflects incoming bullets with microwave bursts, creating an invisible barrier. However, each bullet deflected greatly drains the battery and it is incapable of defending itself from enemy fire. Besides yourself, it can also be ordered to guard allies or friendly skill items. Tactician, being the mod tied to the sharpshooter specialization, flies your drone to maximum elevation at the location of your choosing and spots all hostiles it can see effectively highlighting their location. While deployed, it gives you and your party continuous information about the position of enemies within that area. Bombardier can perform a bombing run across a long area. The drone flies to an area designated by the player and drops a barrage of explosives as it strays from one end of the zone to the other. And Fixer is a defensive drone capable of repairing armor over time. You can choose whether you want it to fly next to you and passively repair your armor or you choose the friendly target, agents or a skill who needs repairing. The third new skill available to you is the Hive. The Hive is a throwable object that houses a group of advanced micro drones that deliver special effects to their targets. You either place or throw the Hive, which affects targets within its radius. It suits a variety of playstyles, as it has four mods. Stinger, Restorer, Booster and Reviver. Stinger sends out a swarm of micro drones that inflict damage and target weak spots to targets within the range. Restorer detects missing armor on allies in its range and proceeds to deploy micro repair drones towards that ally. On impact, an amount of armor is repaired. Booster sends out one micro drone per friendly player that administers stimulants to increase combat efficiency, boosting weapon handling, movement, and other physical abilities. 
and the final and fourth mod Reviver can, as the name suggests, revive allies within a specific radius on the ground. If any of your downed allies are within that range of your hive, you can manually order a set of micro drones to revive them. However, you can also charge the micro drones, effectively holding the charge longer, revives the agent with more health and armor. Moving on to a classic skill. The Seeker Mine is a spherical, self-propelled ordnance delivery device that uses sensors, allowing it to target hostiles or friendlies and perform various effects. Similar to the Hive, it has four mods, one of which is tied to a specialization again. We have Explosive, Airburst, Mender and Cluster. Three of these should be familiar to our Manhattan agents and one has been added. An explosive seeker mine chases the target designated by the owner and detonates with a staggering explosion. However, it can be avoided as there is a slight arming time before it explodes. Airburst rolls the mine to a designated area, launches into the air and bursts it out in an explosive cluster when in proximity of its target. Mender, the mod tied to the survivalist specialization, seeks out friendlies and releases repair chemicals that form a cloud that repairs armor. If it hasn't been given a designated target, it will automatically look for allies that will have lost all their armor. And the final mod, Cluster, contains a number of smaller charges in one package, each capable of propelling itself towards the target. When deployed, each of the smaller mines picks a target and sets off towards it. However, these mines are easier to avoid as they don't have room for advanced tracking equipment and can't adjust their destination if their target moves. The final skill we're shining light on today is the turret, another classic making it back. This compact self-unfolding device tracks and shoots designated targets. It has four mods, one of which being tied to a specialization. It can choose from the Assault, Incinerator, Artillery and Sniper modification. Assault equips it with a machine gun and 360 degree rotational capabilities. It will attack the closest target, but outside of combat it Outside of combat, it detects your designated target. Incinerator equips it with an incendiary tank. The turret ignites the fuel and fires in a cone to deal area of effect damage. It can be effectively used for crowd control as it can be toggled on and off. Artillery is tied to the demolitionist specialization and equips the turret with exploding ordinances at locations of your choice. It fires once per press, launching the shells in an arc at the target's position. The final mod, Sniper, adds high caliber bullets as the semi-automatic turret is now able to target enemies you're targeting at a range. However, there is a slight delay on target acquisition. A sixth skill has been confirmed, which is the Ballistic Shield. However, it hasn't been mentioned in today's Intelligence Annex, so we won't be covering it. Its details will be dived into in the future. As you probably have noticed, the mods of each skill cater towards different strategies and playstyles on the battlefield. Similar to New York, you're able to select mods for offensive, defense and supportive defense. Even for each of these categories, there are sub-specializations to have an offensive drone that crowd controls, as well as a drone that protects an ally or weakens the enemy. Writing is key here, so make sure to use it when we're in the scene. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this one. If you made it this far, consider leaving a rating, good or bad, it provides feedback and helps you showing up in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more simple content and hit the notification bell for regular updates. Comment down below, you will have to pick two skills. What skills and mods are you choosing? Before ending the video, here's a quick Patreon message. I'm designing blueprints for the builds and weapons as well as intelligence briefings for the different characters, factions and complex division 2. For those interested, you can check out my Patreon, as I will upload this content over there. It's an extra service for those who are willing to support me voluntarily. Specifics can be found on Patreon. That'll do it. Have a good day. Peace out.